Hello everyone and welcome back to Paddling Pool 210, the golden paddling pool of the era. I am Broken Pinky, joined here by Spy, and we're here for the last round of pools. And we got some Ian Big Man versus East Shore. Spy, how you feeling? Oh, we're going right into it on Haggle. I'm feeling really good, and I love Splatstone's Hagglefish Market. It's kind of a hallway map, but I like the two flanks, and I, I feel like that's all we need to see. Like, all we need to say about this map, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't know which team is which. <laughs> I mean, we do see um, we do see some Tetra gameplay happening um, on the side of uh, from Sentinel on I believe Ian Big Man. So very interesting. Uh, you know, we finally see a more pomp coming out from Ian Big Man uh, as opposed to East Shore, who's running the leader and Nautilus comp, which is pretty good at holding. But right now, East Shore struggling with team fight. Ian Big Man first to cap that zone. Yeah, and right now East Shore is is in a real struggle because they do have a number disadvantage. And they are kind of being spaced out, that's what Taunt Saber can't really do much. And it's being one shot by that crap combo. We know and love it. And right now Easter's is kind of feeding in and just like that, Ian Bigman got a wipe out. <laughs> I feel like we should say that more excitingly. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Bigman got a wipe out to start things off. Uh, the chat is going absolutely wild for, for that one, but Ian Big Man just has so much control right now. Uh, just holding the zone so well, but East Shore not going down without a fight. Wiper got a kill getting into this Wiper Ditto, and right now, Ian Big Man's Wiper is down. East Shore trying to move back in the zone. Reef side is going to try and deter them. Gets a kill. Weakens the stamp a little bit. Stamper's chasing after this Tetra. Uh, Wiper Tetra battle. Never in favor of the Tetra, but today might be the day. Never mind. Wiper gets the kill. But regardless, East Shore has to get the zone now. Ian Big Man definitely trying to keep control, but they're starting to go down to this Wiper behind them. They get the pick, but the Crab is just painting over the zone. They have to get this cab now, but I think Ian Big Man is going to be able to do it. They have so many resources at their disposal, and that's going to do it. Ian Big Man takes game one. That was a really fast game. I feel like East Shore was really focused on just kind of uh, getting, the, um, getting the cap at the end. But... They didn't get it by a really close shot. I mean, the zone was almost completely painted, but then that crafting came out and got that one-shot combo, and just like that, they lost. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, East Shore not able to get that cap at the end, not able to prolong the game a little bit longer. I blame the poll, personally. I think it's funny to blame the poll. <laughs> um, but regardless, Ian Big Man, one game away, one game went away from winning the set, and what's important is that um, I mean, this is an important um, win for Ian Big Man to get because this could be their shot to get into, you know, alpha brackets depending on how seeding shakes up. So, gonna be important, uh, but we're gonna go right ahead to game two on one of the more divisive mammoths in this game, Zones Flounder. Spy, what do you think of this stage? I absolutely love uh, Zones Flounder. <laughs> Thank you! Yes! Really, Let's go! <laughs> I cannot believe how some people don't like Zones Flounder. It's so much fun. I love Flounder on, in general. It's such a fun map. I love the depth. I know this is unprofessional of me to say, but not liking Zones Flounder is a skill issue, and I will stand by that till the day I die. <laughs> I feel like it's... I have no idea what to say. No, but really, <laughs> Flat Zones Flounder, it's, it's such a fun uh, map mode. I feel like it's really unlikely, but maybe we're gonna see a big swig here. You can just <laughs> cap the zone in like one swig. I think that's kind of funny. Oh, that'd be really funny. Uh, but I mean, it, I feel like it's gonna be a fun set no matter what. Uh, we, I mean, that last game was pretty action packed. East Shore seems pretty happy to be here in general. You know, a few, t few of their teammates celebrating the fact that they made it uh, onto the stream, but it is no game for Ian Big Man. They want to win this one on. Try and try not the best shots to move on to alpha as possible, but they have, you know, uh, they have to, you know, win this game first on Zones Flounder. It's going to be a tricky one for sure because retaking can be a little bit difficult if you go about it the wrong way, and a lot of teams have struggled with that. But I feel like the meta has developed to a point where retaking on the stage isn't really that much of a problem anymore. But we shall see as we get right here into game two between Ian Big Man and East Shore. Uh, for the final match of pools, let's take a look at these comps. I hope we see a tri slosh or nouveau. Let's oh go! Oh my god, I predicted it! Okay, that's that's really cool. And we see a double charger. Splatana. And try double Splatana and ZNF charger from Ian Bigman. Very different comp than we saw from the last game. Only the wiper remain. 
but the Tetris are gone. I feel like I'm pretty sure they had a machine and spots that are gone as well. So very interesting comp change from Ian Big Man. Uh, Eshore also changing the comp up a little bit. That Nautilus is no longer here. So it's going to be an interesting one for sure. Yeah, especially since we see two Splatano Stampers and two Zekofen Chargers. I feel like uh, those weapons are just really popular on this kind of map mode, especially since the zones are really small and you can cap them pretty easily if you just kind of whoop uh, the tri striker down there. And just that's something that is really easy to do. And I feel like that just kind of gives you an easy, quick cap, even if, the, if it does not stay long. Okay, that was that jump out. That was that was super fast. I love I love Tactical Alert. It's so much fun. That was that and was kind of nice from that charger. That was kind of nice from that charger getting a snipe and immediately jumping out. I don't even think they were juiced up. I think that was just pure quick super jump on the on the gear. Um, but Ian Big Man able to hold this control pretty effectively here up this ramp. They're seeing you know a lot of challenge from East Shore, but that's going to be delayed wipe. And Ian Big Man has control of both zones once again. This machine trying to make some magic happen from the street, but. I think they're going to get called out by the tri Slosher, trying to take this 1v1, but they're not able to do it, and Ian Big Man has a lot of control right now as we get, you know, below the 50 point mark. Yeah, we see Esplatana Stepper really stepping up and just trying to kind of win this um, 1v2, and it seems like they are doing their best, but they're just kind of trying to feed in right now, and I feel like that just gives Ian Big Man a big um, advantage, especially since they don't really have that much pain to go off now because Ian Big Man is really um, controlling this match right now, and it's just really dictating, you know? And right now, Ian Big Man definitely won this really fastly <laughs> again. That was, I mean, that, that was, that was interesting. Yeah, that is two 100-0 games uh, for Ian Big Man. An absolute statement for them as we close off um, pools, uh, as we're about to head into single Elim after this once the brackets get sorted, but Ian Big Man authoritatively saying, you know, we are ready for what comes next, whether it be in Alpha or in Beta, because um, unfortunately for Ian Big Man, three of the teams in their groups are 2-1, so it's going to be interesting to see how that all shakes out, but regardless, congrats to Ian Big Man, um, you know, getting that nice, quick 2-0 victory on some of the best, better zone maps in this game. Um, but with that being said, we are done with all rounds of pools right now, so we are gonna be going, we're going to be coming back with the bracket stage after this, the single Elan bracket stage, but we're gonna have to take a short little break to sort it all out, but make sure not to go anywhere because this is where the action really begins. So take care y'all, see you guys in a bit.